Now please welcome to the stage Councillor Wes Francois, representing the 2019 recipient of the Community-Owned Business of the Year Award in the One Entity category, Coyot Lodge and Spa at Talking Rock Golf Course. Why, everybody? Um, I'm Wes Francois. I'm one of the uh, leaders of the community. I've been doing it for, a, you know, 25 years, and uh, I like to say thank you, basically, to all the cook bees out there, the kiaas and the slaas, even my koch in Kalmuth, Keith, <laughs> crazy friends. <laughs> Um, I'd like to say Cook's Jam, thank you to the Musqueam, Tsleil-Waututh and Squamish Nations for hosting this fantastic, this awesome event here in your, your territory. Like, you, like your nations, we want to share our culture with the world. That's the, the whole idea behind this. As stewards, the Kuaud is a vehicle that reflects who we are and what we value. It was a vision of our elders some 35 years ago, almost 40 years ago in the 80s, to share our story of the water and the soil and the four-legged creatures and the flying creatures. The sharing is working coincidentally just the other night. Yes, last night we were recognized as the top four golf courses in all of British Columbia for the PGA. I had to wear this suit and tie last night, so I only have one, right? It's usually jeans and t-shirt, but. <laughs> but this is the beginning for all our nations. We're the nouveau riche of the new millennia, you know? The beginning of hope, because Hope at the end of the day is going to create a healthy community. A little bit of hope, prosperity, like, like you heard my cook be saying that there's a lot of good things going to come of this. I'd like to finish off by saying Cook's Jam to all the elders who had this vision and the community members that supported that vision. Cook's Jam to all our staff, Daryl Adama, the, the, the young kids that are raking those bunkers, the cooks in the, in, the, in the restaurant. You know, I was doing a quick and dirty statistics on what we have in terms of employment. And uh, our cook bee, he said 30%. He's right. We, during our peak seasons, we, we have 150 employees at the Quaout Talking Rock. And 30%, that's 50 First Nations there. And of those 50, half of them are our band members in career streams. <laughs> Horticulture, cooks, building maintenance workers, small engine repair guys, you name it. They're, they're, they're all over the place at that place. Even my young son, Jax, he's only 13, and you're allowed to let them work. Um, <laughs> so, so, so as long as you get a parent's waiver form and all that stuff, that minister's here, I better not be. <laughs> Anyways, Jax, he learned a big lesson this year. He had to get up at 4.30 in the morning because the golf course, the guys have to be on there by 5. And he had to drag his butt out of bed at 4.30 at 13 and get to work raking bunkers all day. That's pretty cool. I like that. Get them when they're young, right? I like to say Cook's Jam to the past and present councils that continue to to improve the Kuau Resort Talking Rock Golf Course. And finally, the Cook's Jam from the Sequoia Nation. Cook's Jam.